it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about dividing by a decimal number. I'm kind of excited about this topic because this is something we have not yet done in our math together. So, new skill. Yay! Here we go. Here's a problem, a real life problem, where we'll be dividing by a decimal number. So let's say I have $15, and I want to buy some Skittles. Uh, they cost 75 cents each. How many Skittles can I buy? Well, first of all, I don't know any place that actually sells Skittles for 75 cents. So if you find it, buy it. But let's just say that's part of the problem. Somebody really has them for 75 cents. Well, it's a word problem, right? It's an equal groups word problem. Let's go ahead and write the equation for it. We know uh, we're looking for the number of groups. We don't have that. So I'm going to say S for Skittles times how many each Skittles cost, which is 75 cents, and how much it equals, which is $15. Okay, this is a missing number in multiplication, and what do we do to find a missing number in multiplication? Yes, we do the opposite, we divide. So we're going to divide, let's write it like this, S equals $15 divided by 75 cents. Okay, so what's our dividend here? Our dividend is the $15. Let's put that underneath this division bar. And what goes on the outside? Our 75 cents. Okay. Now, you should notice we have not done this kind of problem before. It's new. Usually, we're used to seeing the decimal as the dividend in the inside, but the decimal is on the outside and that's very important. Here's what it means. So in math we cannot do division like this with that decimal on the outside. We have to kind of remove that decimal and here's how we do it. I'm going to use my handy dandy blue marker. <clears throat> we're going to take that decimal and we want to clear it so we're going to move it two spaces to the right. Okay, which by the way is essentially like multiplying at times a hundred. Move it two spaces to the right. Now we have a 75. But we have to be fair here. Here's my Nicolism. What you do to one side, you've got to do to the other. So we're going to multiply our 15 by 10 as well. What that means is there is a decimal here, right? It's just 15.0. So we've got to move it two places. So let's add two zeros. And now move it. One, two. So our new spot for our decimal is there. And now, let's treat it like a normal division problem. We're going to move that decimal up top so we don't forget about it. And now we're going to divide, or take our 1500 and divide it by 75. Okay, let's do it. 75 times 2 is 150. That gives us a 0. And 75 into 0 is 0. So that means that 20 is our answer. How many Skittles can we buy? We can buy 20 Skittles. And let's check that math. It's going to be hard. We're running out of space. But we're going to put 20 in times 75 cents. Here we go. So 0 0.75. And I use that beautiful Saxon math trick where you push that 20. I'm going to do it like this. Over to the side so we don't have to deal with that 0. 5 times 2 is 10. 7 times 2 is 14, 1 is 15, 2 times 0 is 0, and 1 more is left. And put those two decimal places in, boom, there's our $15. So it works out. The process is anytime you have a decimal in your divisor, you have to clear it by moving it to the right, as many places as it takes to clear it. But you've got to do the same to the dividend. This time, let's take a look at it without the word problem. Let's just do the division. So we know that our divisor is going to be on the outside, 0 0.04. And on the inside is our dividend. We have a 24. Here we go. We're going to move this two spaces to the right to clear it. Now it's behind the 4. But it also means we need to move that decimal two spaces to the right. I know you don't see it yet, but it's right here. It's right after the 4. So let's put two spaces in so we can move it two spaces. And boom, put it up top. 
Now our problem is 4 into 2400. We can do that. 4 goes into 24 six times, 4 goes into 0 zero times, and 4 goes into 0 zero times. That means that our answer is 600. What happens if we have decimals in both the divisor and the dividend? Take a look. Let's set it up like our division problem. 0 0.16 into 2.88. Step one, we've got to clear that decimal. So we're going to move it two places to the right. And by the way, it's not always just two places. It's whatever it takes to move it to get rid of that decimal. So if my number was 0.163, I'd be moving it three places to the right. Just wanted to point that out. And we're going to two places here, so we've got to move it two places there. And use the blue. One, two. It ends up here, which means it ends up here. Now we can go ahead and let's do our division. 16 can't go into 2, but it can go into 28 one time. And 12 is left over. Let's bring down the 8. Let's see. 16 times what gives us 128? I've got to do it over to the side. 16 times, let's see, um, 7. Let me try 7. Let's just try it. I think that's going to be too much. 6 times 7 is 42. 7 times 1 is 7, and 4 is 11. I think we got pretty close, 112. Let's see if we have anything left over here. 16 times 7 gives us 112. 8, 6. Two, and 2 minus 1 is 1. Oh, that means we can go in 18. Look, 16 times 8. Let's try that. I think it looks like I've got one more. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 is 8. Mm, 12. Yes, it goes in equally. So I'm going to erase this. Sometimes that happens. That just goes to show you. I'm working these out live with you. 18 and it's 128. Boom! So we have a complete answer. It's going to be 18. That's the answer. I hope you're getting the hang of this. Remember, all you've got to do is move your decimal that many places to the right, but then do the same thing with the dividend. Okay, I will definitely see you in the practice problems because this is a new skill. We haven't done it before. I'm going to give you tons of problems to work on. All right. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.